Hey guys, Ultra Pro here. Uh, a couple of people mentioned me maybe doing a video to show how to get online with the Dreamcast on the, using the broadband adapter and all that. So I thought I'd I'd give it a try. I'm not going to use the video capture because I have to show a few things, obviously. Um, so first things first, uh, I've got my BBA here. Um, trying to remember how you can tell. It says LAN on above the uh, network port, if you see that. It's obviously much larger. The uh, the port, I mean. Uh, HT0400. <coughs> so you need, obviously, you need that. Uh, I like to have my Mad Cats all the time and my official keyboard. Uh, you'll need the XDP browser, latest version you can find, uh, and obviously Dreamcast. So if I, because obviously it's already been disconnected, just connect that up. Slots in nicely. So then you just shove it in there. Okay, so I'm going to try and connect this all up with one hand. Got my PGA box, which just fell. Now nicely hooked up. Just drop in my XDP disc. Connect the controller. Connect the keyboard. I'm back. Obviously my VGA wasn't connected to the TV because I often, I only have the one VGA port in my TV and I had to um, I use my laptop on the TV as well. Um, now I've got a couple of handy links which I'm going to provide in the description of the um, video. One of which is a thread on Dreamcast Talk where it's got the the correct IP addresses. There's another one here where it's got a link to the XDP browser software and there's another one here where it actually gives you the instructions on how to use the BBA uh, how to set it up. Now the easy thing about this is that um, you don't have to use the exploder basically you just you go in Assuming you've got your broadband adapter all connected, I'm pretty sure that the XTP software just immediately works via the browser, uh, via the broadband adapter. It's it's automatically compatible. So all you then do is configure the DNS settings via XTP. Now I'm going to try and remember how to do this. Pretty sure it's options modem. It's not modem, is it? No. Nope. Sorry about this, I've not done this in a while.
There you go, so you do that. Right, okay, fine. So, in the options menu, from the main, from the main menu, go to options, and then network info, and then highlight information setup, highlight BBA, manual, and I believe that the IP address here, this is where you put the IP address, and you use this IP address, which is 67 two 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 one four four one two oh I I'm pretty sure after you've done that Pretty sure that's all you have to do. So that's that done. Okay. Save. Okay, so then we just get rid of the XDP. Put in PSO version 2 See if I can find my character and That could be him Okay, so then assuming I've done it right the wrong character so I'm pretty sure every time you go online with a new character you have to use the codes again um, I know for a fact that he's quite a new character there's my boy Yeah, see, that's my character, Odin. So that's definitely the right one, that's what I normally use. Okay. Can't quite make that out for whatever reason. Online mode. Yes to that. Yes. Yes, shut up. So then in theory, that should just be about it. Ship select, and there we are, Celia Vega Altamira. Okay, so bear in mind that is all I did. All I did was burn a copy of XDP browser, um, get the DNS settings off of the PSO uh, DC Talk website, and there we are, all online.